for joining us for live coverage from Bilderberg 2011. We're joined by Paul Joseph Watson, who is right outside the Global Elite Meeting Place in St. Moritz, Switzerland. These are the people, uh, the heads of the global mega banks, British, Dutch royalty, the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, uh, attending. We have more of their inside agenda that we're going to be going over here. And this is so important because these are the people that control the parliaments, control the leadership of our Congress, our House and Senate. They're the folks. We've gotten their minutes from decades ago how they covertly set up the euro, how they sold government's derivatives to implode them. Uh, they're the people that want the carbon taxes to shut down uh, in the industrial societies. These are the bad guys, my friends. And now Obama has pledged, as we told you weeks ago from our Bilderberg sources, he would do trillions more to, quote, bail out Greece. That means give the private banks that made the derivative fraud and got government to get involved with it. That means giving the mega banks that are making record profits more of our tax money. Uh, we've seen a lot of big developments the last few days at Bilderberg. And joining us to go over those developments is Paul Joseph Watson of Infowars.com and PrisonBlender.com. And, of course, Aaron Dykes also uh, working on our operation uh, there. Uh, Paul Watson, you've got the floor. Break down the spectrum of reportage. Hello, Alex. Good to be back. Yeah, one thing that I failed to mention earlier was the fact that um, quite early on in proceedings this morning, there was an activist, I think he was associated with We Are Change Switzerland, who spray-painted graffiti on the road that led up to the entrance to the Bilderberg Hotel. Uh, and he basically spray-painted things like, you know, you're not welcome in Switzerland, get out, Bilderberg scum, things like that. Uh, and obviously he was approached by the police, um, but because the spray-paint that he was using um, could easily wash off, and in fact it did later wash off with a constant rain, um, they didn't arrest him or detain him, so he had, he had a pretty long conversation with the police, but eventually they just had to walk away because of this technicality in the law. So a lot of Bilderberg members arrived to this message of, you know, get out of Switzerland, Bilderberg scum, New World Order scum. So that was a nice welcome for them. Going over the incredible information that uh, Tucker has now released, more of their agenda, and we've looked it up. It is in the Swiss papers. The prime minister is saying that it's not good to have them there and that they, the Bilderberg Group wants to destroy their sovereignty. And we have the equivalent of one of their top congressmen saying arrest Henry Kissinger uh, because there's arrest warrants out for him out of France and other areas. We also have other government leaders saying they don't want them there. Uh, so very exciting things happening. There's a lot more uh, in the agenda. They want to uh, have a larger war in the Middle East. Uh, and we're going to go over some of that in a moment. But... Breaking down the fake bomb scare today uh, and other things that are happening, uh, this report that a uh, Bilderberg person flew into the airport and then had some type of medical emergency. Paul, uh, cover the waterfront for us. Well, the, the fake bomb scare obviously occurred when we had left our car at the top of the hill and walked down to the bottom to get some better shots of the cars as they were arriving. Then Aaron went back up to the top of the hill and the road was blocked and he was told that there had been a bomb scare involving some tubing that the police had found and that they had, they had arrested two people. Um, so it, it took about an hour before the, the blockade was lifted, which was, you know, the, the blockade itself was very brief, which led us to believe, and other people that we've spoken to agree, or the journalists, um, that this was because a, a very important official was arriving at that time and they wanted to widen the security area to make sure that, um, you know, that elitist wasn't bothered because it, the whole thing was lifted so quickly that it was obviously a spur-of-the-moment thing. And it, it let, let me stop great. you because this needs to be added to our report that's one of the top links up on Drudge. You're telling me, uh, was this from the police who told you it was the bomb scare? I know that's on video. But specifically that they say they did make arrest for tubing? I mean, that's huge news. Arrest made at Bilderberg for supposed pipe bombs? Is that what you're saying? We were told by other journalists that two people had been arrested. We, we can't confirm that, and there was no information as to their identity, but that was what numerous people who were there at the time said. So we don't know for sure whether that's true, but that, that's what was circulating at the time. 
Well, we'll call the police station. Uh, continuing with uh, other things that are unfolding, what do you think is most striking from Tucker's moles uh, that we've uh, learned that's on the agenda? Uh, wanting to keep the depression going, I think, is the big one. Wanting to have a World War III event in the Middle East, this is huge. Yeah, just before I get on to that, one final point on those arrests. Um, there were uh, several people who told us that these two individuals who were arrested um, had previously had no affiliation with the journalists who were there the day before. So it seems that these two individuals were unknown to everyone else who was there on the scene. So that obviously brings up the possibility that they were provocateurs. But well, we I saw guess. that happen in 2008 in Chantilly with Obama and Hillary meeting secretly, and that was later confirmed they were there. That They had this guy with a video camera videotaping all of us acting like a cop. Then he got, quote, busted for a gun, and they showed the... Uh, you know, the media this, and then, then they let him go. I mean, come on. And, and again, this is all part of a way to demonize in front of the other cops that see protesting as bad. Yeah. I don't know, we couldn't confirm those two arrests, but the police chief told Aaron directly that there was a bomb scare, so that is 100% confirmed. Getting on to um, what Tucker found out about the agenda, obviously covered in uh, Kurt Nimmo's article, which is on Infowars.com, is the fact that they're outraged and this was the familiar theme at last year's conference about the fact that they're getting increasing amounts of scrutiny from the alternative media and the patriot movement i was talking to tucker about an hour ago and he was telling me that one of the reasons they want to prolong the recession and it's obviously not the only reason was that they want to keep the middle class down they want to keep the bums you know low down so they can't afford to travel and they can't afford to uh, focus on Bilderberg because they're too concerned about putting food on the table. So similar to what they said last year about, you know, their, their disgust at people who are actually able to afford to travel to these different countries in which they meet, that was another familiar theme coming out today, according to Jim Tucker. Well, that uh, before you continue, that's what austerity is. That's what the head of Goddard Space Center has said. That's what the head of the UN climate program, Maurice Strong, has said, and Ted Turner and Prince Philip, and in all their reports, is you will only be allowed to be in the area that uh, that you are working in. You'll have to get special credits to travel outside, special authorization to fly on an airplane. And now, as you know, in England, they're showing British school children these government funded and corporate funded cartoons where it shows the future in 10 years. Where the woman's going, it's my husband's birthday. I've got the credits for him to eat meat once a year. He's not allowed to travel out of the zone, but I am because I'm a social worker. And, and, and people watch the videos and think they're a joke about some tyranny. They're not. The sociologists and the psych warfare experts are just showing this to kids like it's normal. And we've played those here. People think that's a joke. No, no, it's not a joke. Paul, tell, tell folks about this. Well, I mean, that all comes out of the Royal Society and these big think tanks in the UK. Um, they've openly announced that they want this planned opolis where only the elite and the rich will be able to drive cars, where meat will be rationed, as it was in communist China, even as recently as the 80s, and where basically the living standards of the West are lowered to a second and third world status as this uh, post-industrial revolution Hold and that's what the tyrants do. The, the Russians had meat. The Chinese had meat. They do it to make you line up so they have the control. And, and that was later declassified. They know That's why Stalin wouldn't let the Ukrainians and others grow their own food and tens of millions starve to death. They banned your own low, uh, garden. That's what the Food Safety Act and Codex Alimentarius is about. Go ahead. Yeah, 